This is Craig Coppo, and today we're going to talk about one of our favorite boats. Uh, best boat for the money is our Sea Ark Predator. We're standing in a 22 footer. They make them in 20 and 22. Uh, the difference is right here. This is a 22 footer, so you got a little more walk around fishing space. They're about a thousand bucks more, but you've got uh, more room. You can put a four wheeler in there a little easier. Uh, you can put a four wheeler in either one, but it uh, sits a little better in the 22 footer. What we really like about the Predators is they've got a 75 inch floor here. And so if you've got kids or you're fishing Chitna, you can walk around in this boat and it's extremely stable. You can put three or four people on one side of the boat and because it's so beamy, it's not going to be tippy feeling. It's not going to, you're not going to feel like you're going over the edge. So it's real safe. All our Predators come with a diamond tread floor and lots of storage. Uh, so it's a really solid boat. Uh, your gas tank on the Predators is mounted bow in the bow. Um, a 25 gallon tank right under here, easy to fill. Um, a lot of storage space. You've got storage here, storage in the bow. Uh, they come with the cleats. Uh, this particular boat has the Rhino liner interior called Linux. Uh, it's a really high quality product. You can see it's just very, it's on real thick and it's got real good grittiness um, on the big gunnels. All our 72 inch boats on Sea Ark have the, the big gunnel. Uh, so nice for grabbing onto and you can also there's a lot of accessories that mount into this groove like tie downs and fish cleaning tables uh, Rod holders cup holders so you can mount them anywhere. So we really like that feature on the on the Sea Ark Predator This is a white boat with the urethane paint and the and the bed liner You can buy them in a base coat and save some money uh, if you like the bed liner. This is the way to go um, and then they're available in white, black, camo, uh, red, some other colors, uh, but we usually stock them in white, uh, black, uh, camo, and tan. Um, so all the Predators come with the center walkthrough windshield, so it's really nice. You can get completely out of the weather. It's really easy to add a canvas top. You can do a half canvas or a full enclosed canvas in case you wanted to, you could even overnight inside the cab if you needed to. They make a heater option for this, so uh, it's a diesel heater that pumps out some serious heat. Uh, not so much needed today, but it certainly would be uh, come fall time. Um, in the control area, you've got, a, again, it continues with the wide floor. You've got two seats on pedestals. Uh, over here on the dash, you've got a, in the cockpit area, you've got a single lever control. You've got a series of uh, switches that are lit, so you know if they're on, that's your main power switch switch you got navigation lights a bilge pump and a blower all those are standard on our predator as well as the smart craft gauge and this gauge will read your fuel consumption your water pressure water temperature um, lots of features on there it has to be on to be running but that's really a nice feature it's also got a mechanical fuel gauge and a safety switch where you hook your lanyard so that if you were to come out of the boat it would kill the engine if, if you're wearing the cord uh, so that's really nice. One thing I really like on these Sea Arcs, and I can show you by sitting down, uh, the steering wheel, as opposed to an average boat, is two and an eighth turns, full lock to lock. This one is three quarters lock to lock. So your hand never comes off the wheel. And then you've got a single lever control here. You can go from wide open to slam it in reverse and just make the boat stop. Uh, it's really impressive and it's a, it's a great safety feature of a jet ski pulled in front of you or you find yourself in the wrong channel, you can make an immediate maneuver and stop the boat in about two boat lanes. One other thing we really like with this tunnel design, it's very hard to get the boat to cavitate. Cavitation is when you're ingesting air into the pump and you lose thrust, lose control. These boats, you can turn them in a corner and put the coals to them and they just hold that water in there. You can, you can turn these boats in a tight circle, not that you'd normally want to do that for operational use, but it, I can do it to show you so that, so that you see how hard it is to get them to cavitate. Uh, you can turn hard enough where you'll get dizzy after a while. It's like a ride at the fair and stuff. Kids like it, but, uh, but it's really impressive uh, showing you the fact that uh, the boat really holds the water nice in the pump. That's due to the pump design and the hull design. It's about a six degree dead rise. Um, it's also really good for trolling for silvers down in Valdez. Um, you can just set the idle at about 1100, 1200 RPM. It's about a three mile an hour troll. Perfect speeds, you troll all day with these things. You don't necessarily need a kicker motor uh, to troll, which is kind of a pain anyway. You gotta go back there with a the kicker motor. So you just set the controls and uh, start setting your drag when those silvers bite. Behind the driver, you've got again, more storage areas. 
in here. Lots of storage. We love that about the Sea Arc. Um, you can lock it if you've got a GPS or something valuable you want to put inside it. Over here, you've got your marine battery, and on the other side is your oil tank. These are a two-stroke, 200-horse direct-injected motor, uh, our favorite motor. It's got unmatched uh, power to weight. Uh, it's a 200-horse motor, V6 motor, that's making 181 horse at the pump. So nothing else is even close to that. Normally, you're losing 35% or 40% with a jet. We're losing nine. So the fuel economy, the efficiency is just impossible to beat. This is it. Now this motor and pump combined only weigh 375 pounds, which is amazing. To get that kind of horsepower out of like a 302 Ford, you're gonna double the weight. Um, so, and it costs fuel to carry fuel. So that's why we like this motor. You don't have to carry so much fuel. You can use the space for hauling cargo, gear, moose meat, whatever you want. Uh, we normally are burning somewhere between five and a half and seven gallons an hour for most of our running. Uh, if you're running super heavy loads, you might be up around eight or so. 10 if you're really heavy like loaded with meat but at that point most people don't care what they're burning for fuel they're coming home to fill the freezer um, pretty simple design really it's a, a really good system you've got a fuel lift pump here the main fuel filter is here on the motor and there's a sensor on it so at the bottom so if you get water in the gas it'll let you know on the dash with some beep codes this is your oil tank the, this is what the onboard oil tank, it's fed by the one that's right here. That's your main three gallon oil tank, two and a half or three gallon tank. So it runs you probably four to six tanks of gas before you've even got to add oil. So very little uh, use. Again, it's a two stroke, a high pressure direct injected two stroke, the most high tech uh, two strokes they make. Um, good on gas, simple, it's been really bulletproof. Um, we love that motor. Um, behind the motor, one of the best features they ever came out with is a stomp grate. So these are built on a tunnel hull. So the, the intake is recessed up into the hull, so it's elevated above the bottom of the boat. So if you do slide over a rocks or logs or anything, you're not ingesting stuff directly into the intake because the intake is up several inches into the, into the hull. Normally you're just bouncing off the bottom or sliding over a log or something. If you do get something in your intake, you simply turn the key off, you come back, and you hit the stomp grate. It's a spring-loaded thing that it, it, uh, every other bar, it's a, there's nine bars and every other bar opens to uh, let the rocks or sticks fall away. Important to always turn the key off before you do that, otherwise if you're in six or eight inches of water, it's going to pull up whatever's on the bottom of the river. Uh, you got a big swim deck here to, so you can walk around. One feature we offer is an option. We've got a helm lever that we can mount up here so you don't even have to come back it's, it's not on this boat. They, they're an option. They're about 600 bucks or so, but you grab the lever and you just pull it there to activate the stomp grate, which is a really nice feature. We came up with that about seven or eight years ago, and it's been real popular for an option. This boat is one of our very best sellers. Everybody likes it because they're versatile. You can go, you can pull a tube with it on the lake. You can go fishing at Chitna and be safe. You can go hunting and carry a ton of weight. One of the things I like the very most about the Predators is the ability to carry a massive amount of weight without using a lot of speed. They roll right up on top, part, partly because you've got your gas tank in the bow, but they roll over and they just they just lift so easy with this wide beam onto the uh, onto the top of the water. And you can maneuver real tight sloughs and, and small pieces of water, small rivers, uh, without using speed. So that allows you to stay on step and uh, and go all the way around there. So. Anyway, that's, that's the Predator, available in 20 and 22 foot boat, thousands and thousands under everybody else's uh, jet boats, so uh, come on down for a demo ride.